Hey guys, welcome to the Davis Mountain Preserve in the lovely Davis Mountains region of West Texas. The preserve is located off of Highway 118, just north of Fort Davis, Texas. Absolutely love this area. Beautiful, beautiful drive. The Madera Canyon Trail is the only part of the nature preserve that is uh, fully accessible year-round to the public. Um, the rest of the preserve has actually been closed for about a year and a half now due to COVID, um, but they're looking at opening up soon. The Madera Canyon Trail is a 2.4 mile round trip lollipop trail um, that is really nice walk. Um, did it with my nine year old, my five year old, along with my wife in uh, early July 2021 after uh, quite a bit of rain hit the area. And uh, there's usually flowing water through here, but uh, it's up a little higher than normal. And you may get your feet wet after a little bit of uh, rain out in the area. Um, just lovely weather we had. Weather around the uh, high 70s, low 80s for this trip. Now you may see some uh, evidence of downed trees from past fires they've had here in the area. Um, there have been a couple different fires, I believe, that have hit the Davis Mountains region over the past 10 or so years. Um, and I would say the majority of the area, probably 95% intact. Everything looks really lovely, but from time to time you will see a tree that may be burnt up or fallen over. And uh, it's just a testament to uh, nature coming back after fires and how lovely everything looks right now. So the trail itself has about 200 foot of elevation gain and uh, starts low at the parking lot, crosses the creek and heads up on the ridge line. And you get uh, really nice views from up on the ridge. Um, this trail is uh, fairly easy to follow the whole way. Wouldn't really worry too much about getting lost, but there is a map you can print off from the uh, Nature Conservancy website. Um, the trail is uh, pretty rocky. So uh, bring yourself a good pair of shoes to walk in and uh, just enjoy the hike. Once you make it up to the top, there's really not too much more elevation gain as you uh, circle around the loop. Just enjoy the views off in uh, pretty much every direction. One thing I really like about this loop and uh, something that some may want to consider if this is your uh, first time to the area is you're never really all that far from the highway. It may seem like you're getting out into nature and uh, you can definitely get far enough away where you can't see the highway or hear any cars on the uh, seldom driven road anyway. Um, but the uh, highway is uh, always fairly close so you're never really in any danger of getting way out there. Um, at one point on the loop you hike right above the parking lot where you park down there and there you can see the creek down at the bottom of the shot. That's the creek you cross to head up the ridge. As you make your way around to the southwest, you get great views of the tallest mountains in the Davis Mountains range, and that is Mount Livermore, Baldy Peak, the highest peak in the uh, region, and uh, the fifth highest mountain in the state of Texas. Making your way a little farther around to the western side of the loop, um, the trees get a little more sparse, and uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to see some wildlife. As you can see, we saw some deer here. We also saw wild turkey on this hike, and uh, there's definitely other animals out there. Uh, so keep your eyes open for all the wildlife you may see. Making our turn back uh, toward the east and uh, headed over toward the pond on the uh, loop. Um, you can see some flowing water down below there and that will drain down to the pond itself. Now I've done this loop before and I uh, don't remember quite as much water so I think uh, we may have got a little bit of a treat there for a West Texas hike um, due to all the rains. Um, but here we are making our way close to the pond. So as we made our way to the other side of the pond, down in the water you can see some different types of fish as well as uh, some bugs and reptiles and things that little kids love to check out. As we left the pond, uh, we head on down the trail. There you can see a uh, trail marker, and there are various different types of markers along the way to uh, let you know you're still on trail. We start heading down the hill, back down to the creek, and you can see Highway 118 there in the distance. Highway 118 is uh, absolutely one of the most scenic uh, drives you can do here in the state of Texas, one of my favorite. So after you cross the creek, you head back to the parking lot, and that is the Madera Canyon Trail out in the Davis Mountains. Uh, head out there and try it if you get a chance. I think you'll really enjoy it.